Hello everyone! So if you watched my first video on this channel, an introductory video to this channel, then you saw that I made this video, which is the makeup look from that video. So let's get started! So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturize. So this is the moisturizer that I use. It is Shea Moisture's Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Moisturizer. It used to be called the Anti-Aging Moisturizer. Not sure why they changed the name. So I do use this every single day and I use it mostly around my eyes. I get really dry eyes. Which that brings me to my next point. I actually don't wear any face makeup. I don't wear foundation, concealer, uh, really anything that is a liquid color that looks like the color of my skin. This product is called One Heck of a Blot and it is by Soap and Glory. To prime, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hand. And I really a lot, but that's just about how much I put on my hand. And I do take a beauty blender. It doesn't necessarily have to be damp. This product is pretty wet by itself. Um, if you want to use a damp one, feel free. So I'm going to use this big, angled, fluffy blending brush first. I'm going to dip into the Milk Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. So the next thing that we're going to move on to is blush, and I'm going to use this even fluffier, yet less angled blending brush for that. For blush, I'm going to be using Milani's Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. So the first thing I like to do starting off with my eyes is my eyebrows. I use an e.l.f. small angled brush and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Chocolate. So now that the brows are all set, I'm going to prime my eyelids. So to me, one of the perfect transition shades that I own is from Jeffree Star's Androgyny palette in the color Charm. And I'm going to take a clean little fluffy blending brush and pop that right in my crease. The next color that I'm going to move into is from the Masquerade palette by Julia's Place and it is the color Burkina. I'm taking another fluffy blending brush next I am going to grab an elf contour brush and I'm going to grab one of the coastal Scents individual shadows in the shade mimosa I'm also going to start by applying a little bit more primer to my eyes Once that is all over the lid, I'm going to use a really dense and short packer brush 
to smoke out my lower lash line. To do that, I'm gonna use the color Twisted from the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. Oh, look, it's a nice setup. Look at all the bugs. Once I've done that, I am going to take a super long, fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take this white shadow called Blue Bell from the ColourPop My Little Pony eyeshadow palette, but it can be any cooler based really light shadow. And I'm using this to highlight my brow bone and put it in my inner corners. To really brighten up the brow bone and the inner corner, I'm going to use ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Rainbow from the Hello Kitty collection. And for this, I'm just gonna use my pinky to apply it. So now for the really dramatic part of the look, we are going to use a silicone eyeliner brush and any black gel liner, this one's by e.l.f., to create some big wings. black coal liner into my waterline. I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Next, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 510 and we're going to do some highlight. I'm going to use the shade Canary Bling from the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Highlighting Palette. And last but not least, we're going to focus on the lips, which I'm actually going to keep pretty natural today and I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Christmas Cookie from his holiday collection. Thank you so much for watching and please check out the introductory video to this channel if you'd like to see this look in action. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I will see you soon guys. Bye!